Hi guys, uh, I'm Claudia. I'm the founder and CEO of Banyan, and today I'm just going to give you a quick talk about uh, Banyan. Um, so cloud problems. Uh, centralized cloud providers are expensive. I don't know if one size fits all is the word that I'd use, but you certainly have about 800 devs building the same four products in parallel at four different places, which makes them a bit more expensive than they need to be. Um, current decentralized solutions are either really, really unusable, don't have the tight SLAs that engineers actually need, or they're a layer of S3 or R2 or like bare metal completely centralized that ostensibly has you going to a blockchain underneath. So, you know, not, not great, not quite PMF um, for onboarding. Um, so security, ease, and cost are big concerns for users, and security can, like, and includes reliability and enforcement of SLAs. Um, but yeah, there's a few things that you need before the really big guys can onboard, which like going for petabytes is the best marketing strategy. Like your, you know, your lifetime value of a customer is very, very high for those. So yeah, they need, they need like cybersecurity. They need like insurance policies on the entities. They need SOC 2. Um, so there's a lot that you have to do there to get those really big users on. And there's, you know, more decentralized ways to do that. But for now, we're kind of band-aiding it. Um, but yeah, so people are looking for things that your mom could use. Um, they don't really want to run a command line binary that generates something called a car file that's very scary. So you like to drag and drop. So yeah, these are all things that we're trying to address. Um, yeah, so we are an enterprise grade storage solution built on top, built on top of Filecoin. Um, we have a lot of features, so we're a very thick layer over top of Filecoin. We're an onboarding pipeline that gets a lot of data onto Filecoin reliably, re-replicates it to SPs, monitors the SPs, makes sure that they're like actually serving the data the way that they have to so that you can stand up to an enterprise's needs, which are very intensive. They want a lot of nines of uptime and data durability. But um, we hold compliance, or we will hold compliance certification soon. We do hold a big liability insurance policy. We have big SLAs that we enforce with our customers. And then we have separate agreements with, and you know, cybersecurity guarantees everything. And we have separate agreements with the SPs that we kind of bundle together and manage them into being able to basically provide these guarantees that we provide to the, like, extend it to the entire Filecoin network for our users. So yeah, we're easy, user-friendly, drag and drop. Um, you can store hot or store cold. We want to look kind of like the S3 and Glacier interfaces, but a bit more user-friendly um, is our target right now. And then we have an incentive, so we pay the SPs. We don't pay users in fiat, but users pay us in fiat um, through Stripe. And then we just pay the SPs. Maybe one day that'll be stablecoin payments, but you know the cash flows really help them you know, maintain their businesses. Um, and yeah, S3 compatibility integrations, we've launched some partnerships with some compute protocols and like a mobile app. Also uh, SDK, a bunch of stuff coming soon. Uh, our priority is really usability and being the things that someone using a centralized product right now would expect so that they can onboard now in the current state of the network. And then we also sell, which uh, helps our SPs a lot because they should be you know, running an SP, not running a massive cloud storage business in parallel. 60 times all over the network. So yeah, we have this great onboarding stack. Um, this week, well, yeah, I think it's still this week, shipping basically clones of the popular storage products that have really reached product market fit with different verticals in Web2. Um, we are building an enterprise sales pipeline to Web2 businesses, expanding our offering to compute, bandwidth sales, everything generally polishing everything. We're, we're a little bit perfectionist at Banyan. Um, and then, yeah, eventually steel market share from AWS, but it's gonna be a long road there. So I don't know. Um, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're very, yeah, cool. I don't, yeah. Anyway, so this is all the things we do. So we have local first data preparation, peer-to-peer -peer products. So it's like, we basically built a data wallet, if you're familiar with that. It's like a light layer where you store the minimal amount of information possible, but you can freely navigate petabytes of data. Um, it syncs to our centralized infrastructure for some of the faster parts right now, um, but eventually this could be decentralized. So yeah, we track the file system root hashes. We do block life cycling in our infrastructure. Eventually that could be a smart contract like Lighthouse, um, sharing permissions, which means that you have good cybersecurity policy. Um, we can do data aggregation and staging at our points of presence so that you can put data whenever you want. It's there, and then you don't have to think about it again. You don't have to wait for the SP to be ready to pick up your petabytes. Um, we have great security, which is what people want. 
we built our own hot storage layer, and eventually we'll have cryptographic proofs of hot storage coming onto the FVM. Uh, we have them mostly implemented. They need to be a little bit cheaper, and they also need to be deployed. Replication and self-healing, fiat payments, you know, extending liability properties to our SPs, lots of monitoring to make sure that SPs are actually providing the really high quality of service that we expect. Um, we can custody a user's keys and break their end-to-end -end encryption to offer them extra services that require, you know, us operating over decrypted data. And then, yeah, we do all the ops. So, like, our goal, one of our goals is I would like the SPs to be able to, like, not have an internal ops team as much as possible and instead really just focus on providing good quality of service and running a miner instead of running a miner plus a storage sales business. And then they will be able to offer cheaper prices, which will benefit the entire network and just kind of simplify their operations and allow them to focus on what they rest at. Um, yeah, so we have the same vision as Filecoin. We want decentralized, censorship resistant, cheap, open cloud services backed by an open market of providers as a network instead of as a product suite. But we want to be the red hat to the Linux. So Linux is chaos, you know, it's unusable for years in the 90s. And then Red Hat came and brought it to all the enterprises. You know, you bring solutions, you bring stable builds, you bring, oh, it's insured, you can blame us if things go horribly wrong. We'll ship your updates, we'll provide support, everything. So that's what we want to do for Filecoin over the next, you know, I don't know, 10 plus years. But yeah, we're in open beta. Um, we are closing a fundraising round again. <laughs> um, building out the open, you know, or the big enterprise sales orgs. So if anyone is like a CMO type, please call me, or if you know one. Um, we're launching GA, we're leaving Stealth, we're talking about what we do for the first time, uh, and closing storage deals within Web3. We've closed a lot already, it's exciting. Um, Q2 is gonna be the more like developer tools selling to Web2, and then like onboarding those Web3 deals, because you know, a petabyte can take 10 days to move at a standard data center speed. So yeah, it's gonna be, onboarding is not gonna be that fast. Um, we have new features rolling out soon. Scaling, load balancing, latency, putting more nines on our SLAs, really getting ourselves like very future-proof, adding features like IPFS compatibility to our file system that we had to write to accomplish this. And yeah, I don't know, um, lots of building to do. And if you, have if you have questions about our engineering stack, that is Sam Stelfox right there. Um, if you have questions about our sales, I guess Olive and I, and I don't know where Tim is, are kind of like leading that effort right now. And then Tim, if he's here, runs the SP program. Um, so if you would like to work with us and provide capacity and get paid deals, or if you would like to refer us to your leads for storage um, and have us basically close the sale and then send you money, and then you can, you know, Filecoin plus it onto the network. Um, yeah, come chat. I would love to talk. And if you want to try it out, it's on our website. There are a couple bugs, I think, still in the front end deployment, but they'll be ironed out within a week or two. As soon as, as, soon as I stop moving, there's one that I need to fix. Yeah. As soon as he stops moving, there's one that he needs to fix. Okay, yeah, later. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, cool. So that's Banyan. Um, that's a f like form for you know ETH Denver people. If you want to chat with us, we'll try and get most of the people who fill this out onto our calendar so that we can schedule a chat with you. And, you know, we love talking to customers and other people. So, yeah, that's it. That's Banyan. Woo!